Coach, uh, what is the progression that you are seeing with your football team through the first few practices? Well, we got four under our belt, and um, you know today was uh, a little less. Um, I don't want to say a little less energy involved, but because we do have a lot of energy going, but it just wasn't quite as crisp. Um, you know, but we've planned, we planned, we said get through four, and then we won't have practice tomorrow. We'll just have meetings, and then four, and then meetings. So we're trying to keep their legs fresh. We're trying to, you know, stay away from any of the soft tissue injuries. We've got some, but uh, for the most part, we want to make sure we keep these guys fresh and ready to go. All right, so what are you seeing from both sides of the ball? Usually early in camp, defense is ahead of the offense. What are you seeing from your two sides of the ball? Uh, you know, it's give and take. I mean, you know, the offense gets some plays, defense gets some plays. Um, you know, it just depends. I, I'd say our, our, our first group of uh, guys on defense and probably the first, you know, 13 or 14 guys are, are pretty solid, uh, are making plays. Offensively, I've been pleased with uh, Joe Mancuso showing great leadership, and uh, you know he, he threw a pick on a deep ball today that Marcus Vincent made a really nice play. And Marcus hasn't made that play in two years, and you see he's trying to get better, and, and Rod's doing a nice job of coaching him up. But you know sometimes you get so mad at turnovers, but then you tell the defense you got to you got to get turnovers, man. So I got to kind of I got to kind of walk a fine line between. You know the turnover deal and and um, and creating them defensively. You're somewhat alluding to this, but is there a position group that has particularly stood out on either side of the ball through the first four practices? Uh, you, you know, I I I like probably our defensive line looks really good, um, and and you watch Mo Jackson, hey, what unbelievable energy and. And an unbelievable teammate and very talented guy, um, but but I think up front defensively we got a chance to be really good. And obviously Darius Reynolds is not out here yet, practicing. And we get him back, that just adds one more to it. I like the competition in the secondary a lot. You know, adding uh, Roland Williams and Brandon Feimster, you know, made that way way more competitive a room. With that being said, I've been really pleased with Marcus Vincent and Noah Nicholson. No, I mean, the, both those guys have, you know, stepped up their game, and uh, so I love that competition there. Obviously, with Trent Williams and Daniel Jones, you know, they're both really good players. But you know, Tyreek Funderburk looks really good, and he'd be. He, He'll be able to help us this year as a redshirt freshman and be a really, really good player for a long time here. Lastly, Russ, what will the next four practice sessions look like for you? Well, uh, um, when we come back on uh, Monday, we'll have full pads. But, I mean, again, everybody, they'll, they'll come out here and they'll do the old full pads, full pads, full pads, and the practice won't change a lick. Uh, but I love it. Just come on out and see when they do that as they walk out. Uh, you know, we put the bottoms on them, but, uh, you know, we could practice. We could probably scrimmage like this if we wanted to. But um, so, but we'll go full pads because the NCAA lets us. Um, and then we'll see where we go. We got to get – when we come back, you know, we wanted to just kind of play football out here, these four, first four, teach technique, get them better, route running, coverage, you know, block and taking on blocks. When we come back, then we'll start doing some more situational stuff, you know, where we get to, to all the third downs, the red zones, the four minute, the two minute. You know, we'll do a lot of that in walkthroughs in preparation, you know, for these next four days. But uh, um, so it, it'll be more situational. And then probably after the eighth, you know, we'll, we'll have a scrimmage in there to see where we are. Thanks, Russ. Thank you, Bob.